This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Helen Ebay. Uh, today I'm going to talk about something that I don't usually talk about on the channel. It's about money. Ego. Owo. Oh, Kudi. <laughs> There's a lot of work that goes into making YouTube videos. Apart from the production, the editing and all that stuff, YouTubers also have to think about being in the good graces of the algorithm to stay afloat. We have to think about making good thumbnails. We have to think about making good titles. And with all of this hard work, you'd expect to make an income out of it. And it can be harder than you think. So I'm just going to dive into the analytics and show you exactly how much I made. But first I want to tell you about the sponsors of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes. In this community, you can explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and just get lost in creativity. Skillshare is solely designed for learning, meaning that there are no distracting ads. You can learn at your own pace. They're constantly launching new premium classes and they have something for everyone. It doesn't matter your skill level from beginner to pro to guru, there's something for you. I am currently taking a productivity masterclass with doctor and youtuber Ali Abdel. I think that he's amazing and I've learned a lot from him. I've learned a lot about time management, multitasking, and I've generally become more productive in creating. I also have my eye on a songwriting masterclass and I'm very interested in the masterclass by Lauren Bokta. I always want to improve on my songwriting and I think that taking the class will just be a great step. Skillshare is also incredibly affordable with less than $10 a month and an annual subscription fee. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of premium membership so you can go wild with creativity. How cool is that? For me, it's amazing to learn something new every week while maintaining the flexibility of time and Skillshare is a great platform to do just that. My Lean On Me video currently has over 2.3 million views. It's a cover song originally done by the legend Mr. Bill Withers. Look at my estimated revenue, $938.11 for a video with over 2.3 million views. That's not much. Um, I'm saying that because compared to let's say another video for example that has lesser views that made over two thousand five hundred dollars and i'll tell you why firstly to even get monetized at all on youtube you have to have at least one thousand subscribers you also have to have had four thousand hours of watch time it's not easy at all people are doing it so that means that it is possible when I first started my channel, I didn't even know anything about any of this. I didn't even really know that people make money on YouTube. I started my channel because I have a passion for music. I love creating. I love making videos. I love to teach. And <laughs> there's a lot of hard work that I put into creating videos and making content. Everything else is a byproduct of my passion and my creativity. And I think that um, it's only fair to make something out of it or make a living out of it. When you do a cover of a song that is not royalty free, you're going to be ineligible for monetization or you would be sharing revenue with the rights holder. When you're sharing revenue, nobody really knows how much your percentage is or what you get. You just see a button there that says sharing. Sharing what? <laughs> It'll be nice to actually know how much I'm getting or what percentage I'm getting. If it's 0.001%, then I mean, it's, it's just nice to know, right? <laughs> but nobody knows it's undisclosed so you could be ineligible you could be sharing revenue with the rights holder or worse you could get a copyright strike that you do not want as a youtuber nobody wants a copyright strike because three strikes and you are out that's it shaking now you don't finish the end you have to start all over again and you know how hard these things can be you have to be very careful of the kind of covers that you do on youtube because some of them can be really shrewd with the claims when you put out the cover youtube notifies you via email or via their platform that hey 
someone is claiming the song as jazz youtube's content id is pretty sophisticated and advanced there's no way you can get away with a claim sometimes it is detected automatically and other times i think it is done manually that means someone somewhere will have to go through the songs and find something to claim so you have the option to trim it you have the option to take out the song completely or you can just live with the fact that you're demonetized and you're not going to make anything out of it sometimes you can dispute <laughs> dispute yeah right <laughs> but oftentimes the dispute is just as good as nothing it doesn't really work the favor is in the hands of the right holder you're using your song and they don't want it The people that suffer this the most is educational channels. There's no way you can teach music without using the music. There's no way you can teach music without making references, without giving examples. And when you do that, you probably have to use a song that people already know. And those songs would have already been copyrighted. So educational channels usually find it very difficult to stay afloat if you don't do other things which leads me to the point of diversifying adsense is not a stable source of income it has never been and it will probably never be because we can't control the views we can't control how many people are going to watch our videos all of this is determined by the almighty algorithm so <laughs> today your video might do well tomorrow it might not next tomorrow it's even worse you make a certain amount of money this month and next month is lower the next month is probably worse depending on the views hence the need to diversify uh there are several ways youtubers diversify the first one is patreon patreon is an amazing community where people that love what you do people that like your work and want you to continue what you do sign up to support you in return you give them small incentives like lessons tabs pdfs audio to your songs they could have early access to your videos before anyone does and any other incentive that you wish to offer why i also like patreon is because your patrons can choose tiers or levels that they want to commit to mine for example starts from four dollars and above so your patrons have the options to choose whichever amount that they want to commit to or that they'd like to support you with which is amazing i'm on patreon too if you want to support me that would be nice the link is in the bio another way that youtubers diversify is a brand collaborations a brand comes to me and says hey you have an audience i want you to advertise my products to them i show my audience the product and the company pays me for doing that so they pay me and i give them visibility and some kind of advertisement that's it about brand collaborations and sponsored videos so when next you see me say hey guys this video is sponsored by whatever please don't get angry i'm just trying to survive yeah at the end of the day you see youtube as a platform where you can spread your tentacles and say hey guys this is what i do i also do this i also offer this from youtube i've gotten so many private gigs i've gotten private students i've gotten session work and so many other channels where i can earn extra income Channels like a photography channel sell stock, like they'll sell stock photos or sell presets, something like that. A lot of big YouTubers also sell merch. I also think that that is a great way that they get a lot of income and it's, um, you know, it's just nice for people that like what you do to have something of you, like a shirt or a hat or you know anything another way would be affiliate marketing if i review a product and you click a link to buy the product then i get a small percentage from that it's income how much your video makes depend on certain factors yeah and the first one is cpm which is cost per meal meal meaning 1000 cost per thousand impressions this differs depending on your niche and depending on how much advertisers are willing to advertise on that niche. Channels like comedy channels don't get a high CPM, like maybe $2 
per thousand views um, but they make up for it with the views because they usually get a lot of views so they make up for the low cpm with high views channels that really have a high cpm are like financial and investment channels those channels usually don't have a lot of views but they have a high cpm they might be making something like 15 um, dollars per thousand views to even sometimes thirty dollars for a thousand views and that is a lot music channels don't do that great either sometimes it it ranges from four to five to six sometimes even seven or dare about that range another um, factor that will affect how much you earn per video is the length of the video longer videos always tend to make more money because I think that YouTube always tries to encourage people just staying on their platform for a long time. Also with long videos, you can place multiple ads on the videos. Um, for example, a 10 minute video, you could place one ad at the beginning, one at the middle and one at the end. If people see those ads, you're more likely to make more. Also the country that most of your viewers are watching from will determine how much you earn. Um, countries like the US, Switzerland, maybe Canada, and some other countries have a high CPM. So if you have a lot of your viewers from those kinds of countries, you'll probably make more. My viewers are pretty diverse. I have viewers from different parts of the world watching my videos, but I think that so far, I have more viewers in the US than anywhere else so far, um, but it's pretty diverse. So that's good. If you want to support me by joining my patreon the link is in the description that would be really nice of you that would be really kind um thank you so much for watching bye